Hi there. Now this is a good question on working out the constant C for the equation of a straight line. I'll give you a moment to read this through, pause the video and have a go in case you haven't uh, done this question before. And when you come back I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So there's two ways that we can approach this question and I'll do both in the same video, okay? But before we do that, let's just draw a sketch of what we've got here. It will help us hopefully to understand the problem. So what I'll do is just draw my axes Y and X. Now it's a positive x squared graph, so it's going to be a u-shaped parabola. It's going to cross the y-axis at 3. And let's say it looks something like this. Just draw in our parabola. There we go. OK, this is y equals f of x. Now we're told that the line y equals 4x plus c is a tangent to this curve. So having a gradient of 4 the mx part, okay, then it's going to be on this side of the curve. So it's going to look, say, something like this. Let's just say that's the point there. I don't know that that's the point, but let's just suppose it is. Then we've got a line like that. And this is the tangent y equals 4x plus c. Now, in order to work out what c is, one method I can do then is to figure out what the coordinates of the point here is. Once I've got the x and the y coordinates at this point, I can substitute them into here and get c. But how do I get those x and y coordinates? Well, we know that the gradient of this line is 4, the m part of y equals mx plus c. And so if I differentiate the curve here, I'll get the gradient. And then once I've got the gradient, I can equate that to 4 and figure out what the x-coordinate would be. And once I've got the x-coordinate, I can substitute that x-coordinate back into f of x and get the corresponding y-coordinate. And that will allow me then to substitute those values into there to get c. The other method will be using the discriminant. I'm going to equate this tangent to the curve and then I'm going to realize that if this is a tangent, there'll be one root to the equation. So the discriminant should equal zero. And from that, I should be able to find out what C is. So I'll run through both methods. But just in case you want to have a go now and haven't been able to see how to do it, hopefully that might give you some idea. So for the first method, what I want to do was to differentiate the curve. So we'll say f prime x there, f dash x if you like, gives us the first differential. So differentiating 2x squared with respect to x gives us 4x. Differential of 8x is just 8. And the constant 3 goes to 0. So we want to find out the x value when this gradient is the same as the gradient of the tangent, when it's 4. So that's when f dash x equals 4. So therefore, if I equate that to this, we've got 4 equals 4x plus 8. And rearranging this equation, take away 8 from both sides, you're going to get 4x equals 4 take away 8, which is minus 4. And we find that therefore, dividing both sides by 4 gives us x equals minus 1. So I've got the x-coordinate here minus 1, I can get the corresponding y-coordinate by substituting minus 1 into here. So therefore, f of minus 1, well that's going to be equal to 2 times minus 1 squared, and then we've got plus 8 times minus 1, and then plus 3. And if you work this out, you'll end up with minus 3. So this point here has coordinates minus 1, minus 3. And because this point is common to both the curve and the tangent, I can use it then in the equation of the tangent. 
I can say that when x equals minus 1, we know that y equals minus 3. So therefore, subbing it into here, we've got minus 3 equals 4 times minus 1 plus c. And so therefore, we have minus 3 equals minus 4 plus c. And so therefore, c equals 4 minus 3, which is going to be 1. OK, so that's how we could do it that way. I did say, though, the other way was by considering the discriminant. So we we'll just put up here or as an alternative. So with this method, then, we know that the y coordinate here will be exactly the same for both the curve and the tangent. So I can equate these two together. So we'll have 2x squared plus 8x plus the 3 will equal the tangent, which is 4x plus c. Now we've got a quadratic here, so I need to make it equal 0. So I'm going to subtract 4x and c from both sides. So therefore we get 2x squared and 8x minus 4x is 4x. And then you've got plus 3 minus c. And I can put that in a bracket. And the reason for that is that this particular form is the form of a quadratic equation. Remember that form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. This c is nothing to do with this c, by the way. And that's why putting this in brackets gives us this term here. Now, when the tangent touches the curve, there's going to be only one solution, one point, one solution to our quadratic equation. And you should be familiar with the fact that the discriminant that's given by b squared minus 4ac should equal 0. OK, so that's what we latch on to here. We know that for one root, let's just put it in, for one root, we've got b squared minus 4ac should equal 0. So therefore, our b value is the 4. So we've therefore got 4 squared minus 4 times a. a is the 2 times the c value, which is 3 minus c. 3 minus c there, that should equal 0. So now we've got an equation with c in, which we should be able to solve. So just expanding this out, 4 squared is 16. We've got 8 here, or minus 8, I should say. Minus 8 times 3, which is minus 24. And then minus 8 times minus c is going to give us plus 8c, and that equals naught. 16 minus 24 gives us minus 8, and if we add that to both sides, we get 8c equals 8. Divide both sides by 8, and you end up with c equals 8 divided by 8, which is 1. OK, well, two methods there for working out what c is. And I hope that's given you an idea then on how you can go about working this question out.